I'm pleased to be here at the fourth annual Koran Festival, even though we're virtual. Next year we may be live and in person. I'm especially proud to be a Koran vet, having served from 1950 to 1953 and coming home working with the South Korean Consul in Chicago. It is truly an honor to help them with their watchword, freedom is not free. We have to look at this every day and support the Korean Consul and their people in here in Chicago. Nice to be with the festival. Thank you very much. Have a good time. I was first assigned to the 602nd Communication Squadron in Korea. After that, I was reassigned to the 4146 Flying Training Group. The squadron was responsible for training Korean pilots. We also continued the tradition started by Colonel Dean Hiss of supporting the orphanage. We visited Korea in 1991. I was impressed by the spirit of the people and how they rebuilt the country. Korean immigrants to the U.S. have to brought the same vibrancy here. When you see a veteran, especially a veteran who served in Korea and served particularly, I, I, maybe I'm more leaning toward the combat guy who went through it all, he went through an awful lot, uh, whether he was in the Air Force, Army, Navy, whatever, Marines, whatever. And, and they all, I would say, all appreciated the fact of the response that the people gave to them and still give till today uh, back to us. Just understand that, that we do appreciate what you have done for us and continue to do for us in, in large and small ways. Uh, it, it, it is appreciated. I don't know of any other experience that, that or war or anything that, that granted rewards or, or, you know, hellos or thank you or all that type of thing. So, so to you people over there, uh, we, we say thank you and, and, and we'll accept your thanks as you will accept our thanks. So it, 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 was, it, it was good. We did well. Greetings, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the Korean Taste of Korea event, which uh, gives you an opportunity to uh, hear some odds and ends. From June to November, the North Koreans had burst upon the scene, crossed the 38th parallel with about 60 Russian T-34 tanks, which could not be stopped. They were unstoppable. And in the course of the war, there were 90 nice kids in the South Korean army who attempted to stop the tanks by putting rucksacks on their back with a heavy charge of explosives and diving under the tank as it approached and igniting it to save their buddies. While on the south side, no artillery, only rifles, pistols, and they were overwhelmed when the North Koreans invaded, okay? It was pretty awful. Uh, you can't stop a tank. <laughs> All you can do is turn and run, okay? And uh, a sad thing about running is that uh, uh, with refugees in front of you and refugees behind you, uh, it's pretty hard to move, you know? Well, as the South Koreans came down from the 38th parallel, uh, there was a gentleman in the uh, government of South Korea at the time who decided he had to blow the river, blow the bridges in the Han. So boom, the Han River bridges were blown. Uh, the South Korean army lost all their trucks, all their jeeps, all their everythings. Uh, and I think only about 40% of them were able to cross the bridges before they blew. So all these guys were trapped 
and became enemies. It became nasty on both sides. And uh, there were a lot of losses. Well, as we pursued them up toward the uh, Yalu River, uh, we intercepted messages from uh, a number of sources that said, don't cross the 38th parallel because the Chinese are going to regard this as a, as a threat. And, uh, of course, MacArthur was uh, riding a crust of victory, and he had uh, split the forces. Uh, Eighth Army went up one side, I-Corps went up the other side, and they got all the way up to the Yellow River and even dipped their toes in it, not realizing that there were 100,000 Chinese troops all around them. There were 20,000 United Nations troops, mostly American, but also uh, there were two uh, South Korean units up there. When uh, the war got into the center below the 38th parallel, there was some awful good news for our side because we were able to get two weapons, the Pershing tank, M26, 90 millimeter gun, and also a improved model of what we had in World War II, a bazooka, a 3.5 rocket launcher. And that could knock out, penetrate the core of a, a Russian tank. And with that, we began to make mileage, okay? So the war went down to kind of a stalemate. Uh, I was uh, working the night shift when we got a message from uh, our commanding general. There was a request put out that if they were interested in getting together for a talk about a truce, uh, looking at the total 16 countries, were involved, uh, Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, France, Turkey, Philippines, Thailand, Colombia, Netherlands, South Africa, Belgium, Ethiopia, even Ethiopia. I mean, it was truly a United Nations effort, and I don't know if we'll ever see anything like that again. I look at Korea and how the South has blossomed and done so well. You're good people. You have a history of not attacking other people. And uh, you're about as noble a race of, of people, I think, that we've ever had. Uh, you've tried to defend yourselves, but you never attacked anybody else. And uh, bless your hearts. I hope you live a thousand years. Hi, I'm Representative Jennifer Gong Gershowitz. Thank you to the Taste of Korea community for inviting me to participate today. And thank you to the brave veterans of the Korean conflict being honored today. As we reflect on the 70th anniversary of this struggle, I'm so grateful to the proud men and women who risked the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I'm also grateful to represent an active and vibrant Korean community as I look forward to continuing to be your voice in Springfield. As a member of the Asian American Caucus, every day I work to help people in the Korean community and beyond. Thank you again for inviting me to share in celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Korean conflict and the annual Taste of Korea. I hope to see you in person at the 2021 celebration, if not before. Stay safe, be well, and take care. Thank you so much. From the Illinois House of Representatives, this is a certificate of recognition. The 101st General Assembly House of Representatives acknowledges Donald A. Sender, CW3 USA, USAR retired, in recognition of your meritorious service to our country during the Korean conflict, 
We are grateful for your honor, valor, and patriotism then and now. Offered by Representative Jennifer Gong Gertschwitz, along with Michael Madigan, Speaker of the House, and John Holman, Clerk of the House. Congratulations. Oh, Thank very you so much for your service, sir. Thank you so much for your service. Anyang. Anyang, I see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Certificate of thank you very much. For your service. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, I, thank you very much. Right. I might comment. Smile at me. Just did a burst. Let me try another one.